Hi guys, so today's video is one that I am super, super excited about. It is going to be a library room slash office tour. If you want to just skip to the tour part and you don't really want to listen to me yammer on for a while, I'll have a timestamp where you can just skip ahead, but a little bit of context for this whole situation. I normally do not have a dedicated room as a library reading room. I recently, my father has been in and out of the hospital and he was gonna be home soon and my husband and I and my dad have decided that it would be best for myself and my husband to come move in with him, live with him and help out where we can. But obviously as a result, we don't wanna be living in two different places at once, but we still like a lot of our furniture and we have some of our possessions that are, you know, they're our possessions. And fortunately at my dad's house, when my parents split up when I was a kid, my dad eventually moved into this house and he's lived there, he's lived here ever since. But when he first moved in, there was only one extra bedroom besides his and I have an older sister and my dad worked in the housing industry and he kind of just decided, I'm gonna build two rooms onto the back of my house so that each of my girls has their own bedrooms when they come to dad's house. And then on top of that, he built a back patio, which is what that door leads to, off of the bedrooms. And then I actually helped with some, he always brags that like, I helped him build these rooms. And I'm like, I just like handed you tools and stuff, but he's always like, oh yeah, my daughter, she helped me build these, which is adorable. But he also has like a trellis patio off to the side. and. Anyway, what I'm getting at is my dad is awesome and he built these two rooms, but obviously eventually we grew up and then we moved into our own houses. And so these rooms have always just been kind of like extra stuff where he just puts things. And so when we decided to move in with him, he was like, those rooms are yours. Do whatever you want with them. I don't care, move your furniture in. I'm excited to see what you guys do. Currently, my dad is just a couple days away from coming home. I can't wait for him to come home. And he keeps, when I do get the chance to talk to him on the phone, he'll ask me, hey, when do you guys think you're gonna get like a little U-Haul to bring some of your bigger furniture out? And I keep going, I don't know, because I can't wait for him to come home and be surprised and see that we already did everything because my dad loves like anything to do with HGTV and houses and decor and all that fun stuff. And I also just feel like while I know my dad is so happy and relieved that we're moving in with him, I also think, you know, as would be the case for most people, you don't want to feel like a burden and he's of course not a burden. And I feel like this gesture of him coming home to us having already been like, look, we're like all moved in and ready and excited to all be roomies. You know, I just feel like it's a nice gesture and I think it's gonna make him so, so happy. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a little tour so you can see what we've done. Everything's not perfect. We don't have everything over yet. So there's some empty shelves. There's some empty spots in various places, but I'm really excited and I thought it'd be really fun to kind of bring you guys along so you can see what we've done. So here is the main library reading room. Over here to my left, that door leads to the bedroom and then over, I don't wanna make you guys dizzy so I'll go slow, <laughs> but over here is the door that leads to the rest of the house. This is actually where my dad's house used to end, was right here and then he added these rooms on. This is a nice walk-in closet that we just, my dad just put a curtain over instead of dealing with a door and everything. So this is this is the room. That door over there leads to the back patio, which is so nice when the weather's nice. I like the idea of just keeping the door open or sitting out back, but it's getting hot. So this reading room is perfect. I'm not even a coffee drinker, but my husband, Sean, loves coffee. So I converted this little random hutch thing that we had. It's missing a little doorknob thing. Uh, I converted this to like his coffee station because I know he loves his coffee. It's right next to our bedroom, so he can just come out, make coffee. When he comes home from work, I try to have coffee ready for him. I'm just, I really like this little coffee space for Sean. I wanted to show you guys too. We kind of have a little thing going. I randomly one year for Sean's birthday bought him this unicorn mug. I'm not weird, I'm limited edition. And then the next year I bought him this unicorn mug. So now it's like a thing and I bought him uh, this one with the unicorn going to the bathroom on a very happy little cupcake muffin thing. 
and it's sprinkles coming out of its butthole. So I think that they're super cute and funny. Um, I got the pink one for myself, so I now have my own unicorn mug to add to our collection. I got those two from Redbubble, and then I also got this one for him from Redbubble. I have a discount code, so I'll link it. But um, it says, Dear Dog Dad, because we have a dog that we love, Thank you for being my dad. If I had a different dog dad, I would bite him on the nuts, chew up his slippers, and go find you. Because this is like Sean's little space, we also have some of his books down there as well. And maybe eventually we'll fill that up a little more. But just a little, a little tip, if you will. I got this for a pretty good price. I got it on sale because it was the floor model and it was a little dinged up and stuff. But I think it adds charm. Uh, I don't really necessarily need my furniture to be brand new and perfect looking, and I like it. I like the color. I think it's nice for, you can use it as a bookshelf, you can use it for CDs, you can use it as a coffee station. So that's uh, a little tip. If you see something you like at a store, just ask them if you can buy the floor model. I think I got it 25% off. Speaking of stuff that's cheap, this chair is so broken on the bottom, like we need to fix it. We can't even sit in it right now. But... This will be eventually, once the chair is fixed, I feel like this will be the perfect space for just drinking your coffee and reading. We've got our little farmhouse sign and decor. My dad has these shelves put up here, so maybe eventually we'll add some more books or decorations or something. But yes, this is the coffee station part of the reading room. And then over here is my makeshift <laughs> L-shaped couch, because this is not an L-shaped couch. This is two couches, a really long one right there, and then a love seat. But this room, and like no rooms ever, have been big enough to fit both of these stupid things. So I end up just pushing them together and pretending they're L-shaped. And then throwing a bunch of throw blankets. Even though it's very obvious it's not an L-shaped couch. But they're so comfortable. I used to always think like, well a big one will be great for when we have guests. And you know what? Never plan life for guests. Because we don't have guests. Nobody comes over <laughs> and stays the night and sleeps on our couch. So don't make the same mistake as me. But still, for reading, oh man, there's nothing better than like going and laying and like with your head over there and then just, you just get to relax on this and read and you're like kind of curled up over there because there's an armrest here too. Ugh, it's the best. Obviously, it wouldn't be the library reading room without some books. And we used to have four bookshelves all together. We still have the fourth bookshelf. It's just in the office, so I'll show you that space in a minute. But this is like the main library room, reading room area. So it's not probably even going to stay like that. This isn't a bookshelf tour. I'll probably rearrange as we get all of our stuff over from our house to my dad's house. But for now, that is, uh, that's the reading room. Going into the bedroom, I did show some of this space uh, in a vlog recently, but for those of you that didn't see that, I also have books in this beautiful old hutch, which we got secondhand, just like with the bookshelves. I'm sure that this will change up and I will be swapping things out and in. But for now, that's where a lot of more of our, our pretty, like, light-colored books are and stuff. Because I think it just fits the decor. We finally got our, uh, our our bed here and some wedding pictures. And there's shelves in this room, too, but currently nothing up there. And you guys, I don't know how much you guys care about this space. But there's our little key ring thing. Because we were both music majors, so very fitting. And then... Mr. Tabur. We call this Mr. Tabur instead of the TBR cart. I don't, Sean just named it one day. So that's what this is. Now leaving the bedroom, leaving the library room, and getting over to the little office. So we don't have everything over from our house yet. So there's a corner over here that basically just has nothing, but we have a very nice big chair that we're going to put in that space. But here's the other additional bookshelf, which is currently mostly just the manga shelf with some other things of Sean's mixed in, and eventually his comics. He'll have some there, he'll have some comics on that one empty shelf in there, but I thought that, I don't know, I, I, was, uh, I wasn't sure if I would like this one random bookshelf alone, but I actually think once we get the chair in here and everything that I think it's gonna look nice. I've never had like a dedicated desk office space really before, but I'm trying to embrace it here because I think it's important that I have a little corner that is like this is where I'm gonna get some work done. This is kind of random but this uh, background I clearly have a thing for the marble look <laughs> but this particular background I got from I think the website the, the blog is called The Girly Geek and she makes really beautiful backgrounds and I just thought this one was perfect. You know a nice little motto, do good work, 
That's all I really need to have uh, in my face when I'm working, just telling me, hey, just do a good job. So I'll link that down below if I can find it, but I've got my current TBR over there, my adult sippy cup with my carbonated ice beverage because I'm always drinking those, and then my my calendar because I always, I try to plan out videos for the entire month. So I've got that all set up, ready to go. My highlighters, I use those all the time. Oh, and I have to show you. Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Is this not the coolest notebook you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I do have a couple of copies of, uh, of my book down there in case anybody wants to buy a signed edition. So that's down there. But uh, yeah, it's really nice having this little desk. My dad doesn't have internet. We have to get internet put in. But he had this space with this really old big computer and the only thing he used the computer for was free cell. So that's why this is here already. But I'm like, my dad is not, he's going to think this is awesome that I made this space into like a workspace because he, <laughs> he never uses it. But I think he's going to be really excited. Of course, we have the dog bed for Luna, although this moves pretty frequently to, to different rooms. But then also, last little thing, some fresh flowers, some of my dad's roses that I cut. And I keep asking them to stay alive because every time I make him a new bouquet, they end up dying really soon. But I really want him to come home to fresh flowers. So <laughs> that's what this, these are. And he has so many. They're so pretty. But if you guys have any tips to keep flowers alive for longer, I did the whole, like, cut the bottom, like, uh, vertically. I've heard that that's something to help, and I think that helped. But um, anyway, I just thought that would be a nice little way to wrap up the tour. Thanks so much for coming along. It was a lot of fun. And if you guys have any tips for like ways in which to make this space better, I'm already in love. I like how everything looks, but you know, I'm kind of winging it right now, trying to make things work where they can. So if you guys have any tips, definitely feel free to let me know. If you have any tips for where to get some gray throw blankets, I obviously have an obsession with those. But thanks so much for watching. Any links that I mentioned I'll have down below, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!